Hey everyone, JSTAR here, as well as Lucas, Kumatora, Duster, and Boony. We're gonna enter Chapter 8. Wow, very fancy. Master Lucas, yes. A great leader and new king of the entire world, Master Porky. Gordon Lee invites you to the greatest city in the world, New Pork City. I will take you there, in this stretch limousine. So please, step inside. What happens if we say no? Where Master Porky is concerned, there is no no. So, what will you do? Will you get inside, won't you? No. Uh, okay, looks like we're forced to go in. Yep. That's what it means by... Uh, that's what I meant by... You're never gonna be able to get back in Tazmilly. It's ride or die with this last, last chapter. Of course, I have to walk all the way around. Grumble, grumble. Okay, it's a little bit funny that he has to walk around. Man, Lucas and the gang are probably like, What is this weird object? It's got wheels and stuff. Because there hasn't been cars in this. Here we go. What do you think? It's much more spacious than it appears on the outside, wouldn't you agree? We'll arrive at New Pork City shortly, so please relax and enjoy yourselves for a while. Well, I. Grown up drinks are lined up here. It's spicy, bitter, yucky poison, so kids can't drink it. Oh, wait, grown ups can't drink it either. <laughs> Uh, I like that. <laughs> There's a bunch of cool stuff here. A tabletop game. It looks like you can play it, but you can't. Uh, that's kind of lame. It's a 9-foot billiard table. The pockets have been designed to be quite large. It looks like you can play it, but you can't. A lot of things for show. Nothing can even be used. Big fluffy sofa. Will you relax on it? No, because... Because I'm pretty sure that, uh... If we go on that chair, it'll activate the next cutscene. If I remember correctly. A stage. Looks like you could, you could sing a song from it, but you can't even get on it. Yep, there's a lot of things just for show. Whoever this porky guy is, it sure is lame. Grown-up drinks are lined up here. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we can look at the bathtub. The bathtub works like a si uh, sauna. Spring. Hot spring. Ah! How nice. Well, that is very useful since we had that fight with the masked man. Yeah. Look at us. We're so strong. Blackjack table. It's not a playable blackjack table, though. This is one of those famous champagne towers. Actually, upon closer inspection, it's only a painting. Uh, yeah. Very lame. A lot, lot of, a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> well, this is one thing to do. Actually, not yet. Would you like to sit in the passenger seat? Okay, uh, don't go in the passenger passenger seat yet, because actually that activates the next cutscene. We'll get on the big fluffy sofa. Uh, 
Ah, look at us having fun. Look at Boney wagging his tail. <laughs> He's so cute. What is this feeling? <laughs> I, I don't know what happened on that so far. Maybe it's one of the massaging ones. Alright, now we go on a passenger seat. Yes! There it is! Say hello to New Pork City! Oh my god! It's the Trump Empire State Building! Or maybe that's not what its name is. Who knows? Who cares? Oh, but they got the Vikings here. Ah? Uh -huh. Vinland Saga? Maybe that's who Master Porky is. Mr. Vinland himself. Beauty Tasty. There's a cowboy also. I see that. Chapter 8. All things. Oh, he's running this time. Well, we have arrived. Please watch your step as you exit the car. You haven't forgotten anything, have you? Well, even if we've forgotten anything, we can't go back. Seeing as this is your first time here, I'll give you this map of the city so you don't get lost. Got a city map. Well then, Master Lucas, I'm sure I'll see you again soon with a different look. That... Scary! Oh my god, that's scary. What does that mean? And, well, there goes the limousine. We're trapped here. If only we had teleportation. Yeah, if, uh... If you haven't played the first game, or second game in the series, there's, uh, no PSI teleport in this game, which was a mainstay. I know, man. I know all about you. You're here to destroy New Park City, aren't you? Oh, we got a rapper. I I don't know what rapper he would be, but he's someone. And the stream is kind of silly. You're free in this city. Master Porky has given you your freedom. We already had our freedom. He is a bird. <laughs> Everyone else came to the city, so I couldn't just stay back there all alone. I figured there'd be something here for me if I came, but now, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Do you feel the same way, Lucas? Oh, Lucas, can you follow me here for some some of my slightly unclean and not so very tasty cookies? Because I don't make those anymore. Have you forgotten? Well... There's a game corner. Make the M game. Pinball game. Thomas also here. I'm totally owning at this game right now, so don't talk to me. Gosh. And I don't. And don't you dare ram into me. This is retribution for your crimes, Thomas. God, I told you not to ram into me. Jeesh. It's 10 DP to play the game? Let's give it a try. And we can barely see ourselves play the game. Uh, I think Lucas is winning. Sounds like one of those highly edited videos. Yeah, you know the ones. 
one sense you feel completely satisfied. Whatever that means. Uh, that's probably the same game. Man, this area stinks. No, it's not me. It's this area. Wonder why it stinks. Oh well. If that area stinks, I feel bad for the game. Walk, stop, sleep, shout. You're free to do it all. Well, uh... Man, there is, like, no... Like, I don't know. This is the big city life. Or is it? It somehow doesn't seem like it. Apparently all of the waitresses in the restaurant over there are robots built to look like the mother of some bear- someone really important. Oh, this array of artistri- artisticness? I see before me. The lioness gushing forth from it, the maskness dripping from it, and this nose hairedness and the arachidness? It's so magnificent, it's positively frightening. Dona's a sucker for art. She's been stuck at to this spot for what seems to be forever now. Oh, Mole Cricket. We may be tiny, but we're still living beings. We eke out our lives as Mole Crickets. I was just talking business with this fellow right here. I feel the time is finally ripe for us Mole Crickets to try our luck in the big city, you see. Are you an acquaintance of Jackie's by any chance? Yes. Could you ask him if he'd be willing to partner with us, Mole Crickets, to strike it rich? Twinkle? Oh hey there, Lucas. I was just talking business with this tiny fellow here. Not really sure what to do, what I should do, though. What should I do? Alright, let's see this restaurant. Oh. Broken, broken, I'm so broken. Clang, 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 ding, ding, dong. Aye! I think it's a dung beetle. There's nothing wrong with being picky. Uh. This is a restroom. That door you're knocking on leads to a restroom. What business do you have in a restroom? Uh. This place actually is a shop, so fill yourself up with some favorite food and nothing else. That's this restaurant's grill. Alright, well I swear that this is a shop. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? You people don't fit in with the shop. Well, I guess so. As you can see, very good uh, healing items. You got the beef steak, king burger. Uh, pasta with a past. <laughs> Favorite pizza. Rich kids stew and rich parfait. Really good healing items, but we will not be spending anything yet. The shop's filled to the brim with pretty girls. Oh, if only. I know I don't look like it, but I'm a robot, honestly now. Alright, let's try this restroom. Maybe something funny will happen. Cleaning supply closet. And, uh, Bronson's here. This town's filling up with more and more people, but this shop's still as empty as ever. <laughs> you know, kind of strange that Bronson's there. If it's so empty. Alright. Hmm. Let's look at the map. Seems like there's some more stuff down here. Also, well, we're over here. There's a slot machine. I'm a broken slot machine. But the Sanchez brothers and their friend are a very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Insert one TP. Ah, nothing. I, I'm pretty sure that you can't win anything there, so we're just not gonna care. Alright, back to the, the... Over here. Oh, this woman. Welcome. I heard from Master Porky that you'd be coming here. 
These things are quite strong, in one way or another. Ugh. Freaky. You can go anywhere you want, aside from the hunter's floor on the Empire Porky building. In fact, go have a look around at everything. There is some cool stuff that we can do. Like this guy! Well, not do him. We can buy stuff. Very good. Pencil rocket, bomb, super bomb, New Year's Eve bomb, and salt water gun. You buy good things, you have a good eye. Very horrible tree. Which uh, we cannot look at. Seems like this place was supposed to be a junkyard, but. Well, it's a bunch of bombs, so. Not really junk. Apparently, the statue of Master Porky isn't just something to look at in Marvel. More specifically, it's supposedly the divine protector of this city. I also hear some moron somewhere picked a fight with it and wound up in a world of hurt. Hmm. Well, we can actually pick a fight with it, so I'll be back and save. Well, we're gonna save and also head over to the right because there is. Uh, well, Butch, but we don't really care about him. Oh, hey there, Lucas. I was just talking about old times with Isaac. He's an important- wait. Oh, I, I skipped that. Hold on. He's an important guy nowadays. Lucas, you're the dear and charming guest of that por Master Porky is looking for? Oh, it's me, Isaac. I'm a big shot now. Doo -doo -doo. But Lucas, I didn't know you were anyone special. If you do anything to defy Master Porky, then you'll- uh, you and I will be enemies. Or you and Neil will be <laughs> enemies. I don't know if everyone is gathering here in the city, or if they're being gathered instead. But if you're here, Lucas, that means everyone really is here now. Dang. Not even the guy, not even the mayor <laughs> is here yet. So it's a hot dog sushi, which is kind of strange. Weird balloon animal. There's no admission fee in this theater. We're showing a wonderful adventure movie, personally selected by Master Porky himself. But apparently a stink bug has snuck inside and stunk up the place. I hate having to kill those things. Yuck. Now, over here, there's a fake fr- Ugh. There's a fake bat in a fake frying pan. Horrible, uh, horrible stats at this point in the game. But, they actually changed the sound effect of Lucas and Kumatora's uh, hit sound effect. Which is neat. Not many people know that. So I thought I should bring it up. There's also the red hat, angel ribbon, and, well, good healing items right here. Well, eh. Decently good. Please come again. Oh, Lucas, are you looking for something? Whether you're not really sure what to do, the theater's the best place to go. Yep. Oh, you're here too, Lucas? I guess everyone from Tazmili is here now. Everyone. <laughs> Except for that crummy mare. According to my research, stink bugs appear to be... to possess a terrifying capacity for memorization. I'd love to study them to find out even more, but they're just so stinky. Oh my god, we actually have, like, bank. I... I did not know we had, like, 20k DP with us, so... I'm gonna buy some cool stuff. Alright, got our equipment up. Let's go in the theater. Check out some things. Hey, you! The only ones allowed to run inside the theater are the stars on the screen. Well, those stars are very familiar. Very... You're not supposed to watch... You're not supposed to watch movies from so close up. It's bad for your eyes. Hmm. I can't put my finger on it, but these guys are very familiar. Stink bug? Yeah, I saw one earlier. Where could it have gone? Some people say that if you take a big whiff of a stink bug's smell, your memory will improve. If that's true, I'd step one without a second thought. 
Wow, that hole in the speaker system leads directly to the sewer system? Absolutely unbelievable. So that's why this theater stinks to high heaven. It even looks like stink bugs use it to come in and out as they please. That is disgusting. This place is nasty. Stink bugs stink up the place wherever they go. You know, like these seeds. Some of them smell bad. Rumor has it, whenever you guys do something, earthquakes and tremors and stuff happen. What in the world do you guys do? Oh, right, we can't run. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, lady. Your guys' leader is locked up in an apartment building underground. Huh? You don't know nothing about no leader? But your leader wants to see you. Here I am, putting myself at risk to tell you this, and you honestly don't know the guy? I see. In that case, maybe you're supposed to meet him without knowing who he is. Anyways, that's all I can tell ya. Well, uh... I... Uh. Well, there's a leader that, uh... Wants to see us. At first glance, the projectionist appears to be an old man. But he's actually a figure made of clay and dough. It's well crafted. First glance, it seems to like this might be a movie-loving boy named Toto. Or something. But he's actually a figure made of clay and dough. And holding a bucket. You get the feeling you've seen him before. Please don't come in here for the employee entrance. Are you the type of person that always has to sneak behind everything? Nope, we are not Solid Snake, even though Lucas probably met him in Smash Bros. I. Dude, I'm actually gonna slap myself the next time I run inside this theater. The hole in this speaker seems to lead to sewers. Go for it. It would be difficult for people to fit through this. This area stinks. This area doesn't stink too much. This area stinks. <laughs> this area really stinks! Oh, Lucas found something. It's a stink bug. And Boney is going crazy. We don't have Boney anymore. Uh, the hole in the speaker is in sewers, and we can't go through it. So, oh my God, I almost just ran again in the theater. Well, you know what? You know what they say: all stinky places must be connected. Or hold on, have we talked to these people? Grandma didn't really want to leave Tasmili. But everyone else left to come here, so... My granddaughter is always by my side. I'm so thankful. I love her more than my daughter. Oh. Oh, that... <laughs> it's a little bit... Morbid. I don't know. Sad? Very depressing. Well, there is another place that was said to stink. So, let's talk to this guy. I've been hearing a dog whimpering for a while. I think it's somewhere right below us. Can't go check it out, though. The reason being that I'm afraid of dogs. Seriously, their noses are wet, and they wag their tails, and they lick people's faces. Gah! I totally can't handle that. So, could you look for the dog instead? Sure. Really? You must like dogs, then. So, you'll go look for me? Okay, I'll open up this heavy cover. I'm putting myself at major risk, though. Okay, I'll open the sewer entrance for you. Here goes nothing. Ooh, seamless. Now then, let us go down here. Ooh, we hear bony. And there, there's like stench coming out of the... That's bony's barking! 
He must be nearby. Yep. Uh. <laughs> thank you, Kamatora, for saying that. Now, Metal Attack Roach. Which, uh, we need the back sprite of. Back and front sprite. Let's go and find Boney first. Uh, we can fight these enemies later. Or we might have to fight them right now. Let's not try to use PSI. Body and golf with flames. Nice one, Lucas. One down. Two down. By the way, the putrid moldy man is a old enemy. I don't think I've said it before, but there are a lot of old enemies that are... Or, not a lot, a good chunk are from the first game. Ooh, tried going through it? Pretty difficult for a person to fit through. Uh, uh what, what was my what was I talking about? Ah, okay. All right, so there are a lot of enemies that are old, and they are uh, back here with us, or not back here. They're in this game. You'll recognize them if you played it. Ta-da! There's a saltwater gun. And just like Earthbound! Ta-da! There was magic pudding. The Ew. <laughs> Super gross. Alright, let us keep looking for Boney. Ah! Duster's level 50. And we got an attack attractor. That's the thing that makes you stink and, uh, makes things fight you. And there's a mole cricket shop here. Oh, we have s Let's see what they have. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shoot. I... So, the door won't open, and there's no one inside. Very trashy apartment. And a very sad and somber song, too. The door won't open, there's no one inside. A lot of trash, too. Door won't open, there's no one inside. Let's see. Door won't open, there's no one inside. Okay, it seems like every single door- Oh, Boney! Woof woof! I chased after the strange smelling bug, and somehow wound up here. Boney's back with us! Oh, I love you, dog. I love you, Boney. Woof. But never mind that. Look, look what's in this next room. Well, let's go and take a look. That's that's our leader, our letter. Well, we're gonna save this for the next episode. Yeah, we'll talk to letter in the next episode.
and we'll find out what he's been up to, or, well, what he's been forced to do. See you guys next episode.